Yeah, so far, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. very good. All right. So today's topic for discussion is unexpected challenges. Yeah. Right. Right. So the challenges, the situation is: imagine last month early in the morning, you hear the doorbell ring, and you find that it's the police. and you are arrested without any explanation you will not be given any reason as to why they are arresting you they just arrest you right away right away you open your door they arrest you okay so how will you deal with that situation what will you do what will your first reaction be like well, first reaction uh, being a human uh, being a uh, i'll say as a human being my first reaction will be i will be shocked no mm-hmm. doubt you will be calm but, uh, i'll i'll keep myself calm but uh, at the same time uh, uh, from inside my heart i'll i'll be shocked no doubt i'll mm-hmm. not show it to them that i am very much uh, this thing shocked but mm-hmm. at the same time uh, from inside i'll i'll no doubt i will i will be shocked to know mm-hmm. that the police has uh, came here uh, to come here to arrest me mm mm-hmm. then mm-hmm. uh, i'll surely ask them what the uh, what uh, i have done wrong mm-hmm. i'll mm-hmm. keep on asking them that uh, what uh, what uh, mistake i have committed uh, mm-hmm. uh, for uh, you are you are here to arrest me for the arrest for the arrest yeah for, for mistake yeah, for the you? arrest right. mm-hmm. if at all they answer me okay mm-hmm. okay if at all they answer me uh, that why they are arresting me then it's okay yeah. otherwise uh, otherwise then uh, mm-hmm. i have to make some calls to my close friends or colleagues or family members mm-hmm. yeah so what will you tell them imagine you call someone and you're asking for help what would you tell them uh, i'll i'll tell them that uh, police uh, came to my place and uh, mm-hmm. they are arresting me they are taking me to the uh, police station for mm-hmm. no reason they have not uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, still told me what is mm-hmm. the reason behind uh, they arresting have not me. told me still they have not they told not me told. the reason behind behind the arrest mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but uh, uh, right now they are taking me to the police station so if possible then uh, please do reach to the station with the with the lawyer for sure right okay. all right fair enough so um imagine like you have to call your office and you had to tell them that you are getting arrested you have to call your boss so do you think if you tell them that you're getting arrested it will affect your work in any way see uh, if at all uh, i'm somewhere uh, uh, indulge into some kind of stuff uh-huh. which which leads me to police station which leads me uh to take me to the police station by policeman which led me yeah you know, it led me to yeah, led me to arrest then uh, it is certainly going to uh, hamper my uh, this thing name Other- and fame in the office right right otherwise uh, if at all uh, if i am knowing that i am i am i am nothing i am not done anything wrong with mm-hmm. anyone then mm-hmm. uh, surely i'll tell my uh, i'll not be any hesi- i'll not feel hesitate uh... i will not hesitate sorry yeah i will not can you hear me nagesh i will not yeah, hesitate right. yeah mm-hmm. i'll not hesitate to tell my boss or my colleague that uh, this thing i am i'm, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm uh, undergoing this thing mm-hmm. all right fair enough so um yeah like how would you then try and prove your innocence even you don't know why they are arresting you then how will you be able to prove your innocence okay uh, as far as uh, my uh, to prove my innocence uh, to the policemen till the time they'll not tell me what crime i have made i'll not be able to uh, clarify them yeah but uh, as soon as they they uh, disclose the reason behind uh, the arrest i'll surely tell them that uh, you might have uh, caught a wrong person because i am nowhere involved mm-hmm. into this and mm-hmm. at the same time if at all they are uh, keep on uh, saying this thing that uh, you have committed this mistake or committed this crime that is why we have arrested you 
then uh, surely i'll uh, i'll ask them to make me make me some calls so that uh, my mm. lawyer and uh, my colleague let me uh, let me make some calls i will ask yeah. them to let me make some calls mm-hmm. sure i'll ask them to let me make some calls to my friend or mm-hmm. family member so that uh, they can reach out mm-hmm. to me and whatever uh, other action mm-hmm. may be initiated we will that has to be taken that yeah. has to be taken yeah okay fair enough so uh, um yeah like would you try and bribe them will you ever think of bribing them into letting you go uh, i'll surely the kind of person who will never bribe for the this thing for the at least at least for the thing that i have never done if i thought yeah. i have done some wrong then if i at all i have done some wrong to someone or something then done something wrong i might think of that uh, i should go for bribe or so but being a human mean uh, being a, being a human being uh, being a what i'll say being a human yeah being a human, human? yeah mm-hmm. being a human uh, everyone everyone uh, will uh, i am sure uh, will think of this uh, let's give him some uh, rupees or some kind of bribe uh, so that mm-hmm. he can be settled down easily otherwise yeah. we have to go to court and all this is a long yeah. process to avoid the hassle and, uh, yeah uh, yes we need to avoid this thing and uh, at the same time our name fame all these thing damages yes that's true so you would not do it because since you are innocent you wouldn't want to do it right sure surely i i i would not i would not do okay so you are taken to the jail okay not jail the police station and there's a cell in okay. the police station so they try yes. and keep you inside the cell and you see other people also inside the cell probably criminals so will you strike up a conversation with them or will you just mind your own business and wait i'll uh, I, i'll be in that uh, if uh, if at all i am in that situation that i am inside the jail or uh, that custody mm-hmm. then uh, i don't i don't think so i'll uh, i'll uh, talk to someone with yeah. who, are, who are already in the jail because uh, yeah. uh, i'll be i'll be disturbed uh, at that time at that moment and uh, mm-hmm. i am sure that uh, i am not going to talk to I, i will not be going to talk to someone i will not be talking to someone i will not be talking to someone right right mm-hmm. okay so imagine the policeman they come to you again and they apologize and they tell you they were actually look, looking for nageshwar sharma not nageshwar prasad the wrong person sorry you can okay. go we got the wrong person so how would you react to that will you get furious will you turn mad and sue them or okay in that case uh, from inside again i'll say from, uh, from from by my heart i'll i'll thank i'll thank i'll thank god that uh, <laughs> yeah. i'm yeah i'm not uh, involved into all this yeah. anymore but uh, in the in front of policemen i'll say that you people have done very wrong with me uh, because uh, you have you people have taken me from my home to this place and because of this my name fame all these things uh, name and fame is uh, uh, is damaged no doubt mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. so how uh, you are i'll make sure that you will uh, pay for this <laughs> like that you say i will sue you and take you to the court <laughs> early i'll yeah. i'll 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 make you pay for this yeah. then it's okay if they had, uh, if they seem to be polite enough at that moment mm. then you'll move on i'll move you'll on you'll move on with it all right yeah. have you ever I'll... had any mhm mhm don't yes yes yeah please please okay. okay have you ever had any real life encounter with policemen any bad encounters Uh, no not not really not not yet and i okay. hope <laughs> i hope <laughs> never again not, <laughs> not yeah. again never, never yeah. again yeah yeah so um, yeah it's like um yeah it's quite hard to not have an encounter with them because at times we be faced with they they be wanting to check your papers or something or somewhere something and you also end up bribing them at least at some point of your life yeah so right, hopefully right. we never have to uh, deal with all that but still Correct. Yeah. 
पुलिस सिस्टम इज बेसिकली मीन फॉर फॉर मीन फॉर दिस थिंग टू हेल्पिंग टू हेल्प दी नीडी वन हु आर इन नीड they need actually they are they are been uh, actually uh, the system is in generator only for this thing so that people yeah. who are uh, actually suffer they yes. they can, can be looked after yes they can yes. be looked after but it's actually you know it's going counterproductive yeah we uh, are scared okay. of the policemen we right. are scared as now people are scared yeah. as soon as we saw them Uh, we we see them we, uh, yeah. yeah we we see them uh, or uh, in uh, we keep on uh, uh, thinking that uh, he should not stop us uh, if he at all he will stop me then whether i have uh, yeah. the documents or not paper oh, yeah. yeah papers yeah all these things uh, start coming in the mind at the yeah. and uh, the whole uh, agenda behind yeah. the uh, this uh, police system fails over here Yeah, that is true. And some of them are bullies, complete bullies. These policemen, yeah. Yeah, but uh, there are few who are really great. Good ones as well. There are a lot yeah. of them. Mostly, yeah, there yeah. are good ones, I would say. But these yeah, badness yeah. are the ones who really ruin the name for the whole. System. Yeah, actually, we have uh, memories uh, of those we have encountered till date. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. have, uh, yeah. Yeah, they are actually not that much good. That is why, and the, mm-hmm. at the same time, you you watch out the movies. You just watch out the movies. They they keep on uh, they, uh, showing the portraying, police yeah. as uh, portraying the police as a a bit crime crime. Uh, yeah, like bad, a, like criminals. Bad, bad criminal. boys. Yeah, they they yeah. they keep on put 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 treating them as a bad boys. This is yeah. actually not good. actually that cinema is, is a uh, we we take so much thing from cinema ah uh, yeah Or, yeah isn't it interesting yes so i think we only have about one more minute for a session to end before that as a feedback what i'd like to give you is uh now you sure you do have good hold on your english at times i felt like you were getting confused some kind of usage of words some tense problems like maybe in the past to present present to past that kind of a confusion was there at times wrong usage of word in the wrong place other than that i think you can work a bit a bit better on the flow of speech at times okay. i felt like you were breaking the continuity of speech yeah sometimes you okay. were in the lack of you know you were thinking for the right word and you were like in lack of words yeah so that right. kind of broke the fluency is something that you can work on definitely it will come to you the more you talk to people in english the more you engage in good conversation it will come to you but still i think you can also work on your vocabulary a little bit more and it's not like you have to always add new fancy words into your speech no something so casual some some words we already know but we are not using because we don't have the habit of using it so probably right. as an exercise what you can do is look it up on google thousand common useful vocabulary in english and with each word try and make one sentence each just to brush up your memory yeah just to brush up uh, and just try and you know use it in a sentence